<laughs> Ooh, God, I hate, I hate when he makes any noise because it just is like the most mega nasty thing you've ever heard. But here's the thing. I think because she's actually being legitimately nice to us, it makes actually the most sense for him to ha have a positive delusion. But I'm not going to. Because <laughs> we're doing, we're going bad, boys and girls. We're getting in. For the first time, I just want to see how bad it, get, it, it can be. Because this man can dream up some crazy stuff. Oh man, I was starting to get dizzy from how moe that sounded. <laughs> Could you be the kind older sister type? Damn, trying to seduce me and shit. This woman was dangerous. She must be up to something. I mean, I don't. Oh no. A request. Seriously? Well, it's about to be drowned out by my bad delusion. <sighs> oh, it's gonna... I did. I hope she just kills us in our delusion or like... I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, starting off strong. Still starting off good. Uh oh. I want to look at your insides. Oh. Yua's face turned bright red, and right after this sudden confession, she started fishing around in her bag. She must have been looking for something. Oh, wait, hold on. This is just Yandere behavior. Excellent! <laughs> I seem to have made the right choice. Uh. <laughs> yup, dude, I already knew. Get that knife in me. Uh, she finally pulled something out of her bag. A brand new kitchen knife. Its blade glimmered with light reflected from my desk lamp. I just stood there staring at her like an idiot. That was all I could do. Could do. Things were happening so suddenly my mind could hardly keep up. It took all my strength just to swallow the saliva that had built up in my mouth. Um, I understand. Do what you need to do. You're a lovely girl. <laughs> the fucking music. Kiwa grasped the knife in her hand tightly. So tightly, in fact, her fingers were turning pale. And then... She swung the blade toward me. And I'm already, like, injured, so I can't, like, actively do anything about it. I shook my head frantically, doing everything in my power to get her to stop. But it didn't seem like I could get through to her anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh. Okay, like, you, if you want every part of me. Okay. Her voice is, like, getting, uh, even more, it's, like, deeper and... <sighs> oh, you can, yeah, go ahead and have those. We're not really using them anyway. <laughs> you know... <laughs> See, you think this is scary for me, but I'm into this. The fucking face, though. <laughs> and as she screamed, you a lunge straight for my chest. That's when it... Ow, oh, I died. Suddenly, I felt a dull impact and an intense pressure. I looked down at my chest. It was the tip of the kitchen knife sinking deep into my body. <laughs> oh, yeah, just the tip. Any more than that's just too much. Iwa let out a moan near my ear, dripping with ecstasy. The knife gouged my flesh, my bones. Okay, it's a kitchen knife. I mean, yeah, I could, like, break my bones, but, like, fuck. And yet, I couldn't feel any pain. 
which could only mean one thing. This was all a delusion. You know, at the start, you know, like our delusion. Hang <laughs> in there. You know, it says uh, that our, like, what if our delusions were made real? I feel like I'm really playing with fire here. <laughs> Holy shit, that was way, 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 way too goddamn scary. Yandere girls are fucking terrifying. And sexy. I knew it was just a delusion, but it was so intense. It left me with a lingering dread that gave me goosebumps. <laughs> what the shit? While I was lost in my uh, uh, usual delusions, Yua suddenly had a huge fall and landed flat on her rear. She rubbed her butt while on the verge of tears. What in the hell are you doing? Oh. Oh, god damn it. Oh, well, maybe if I wasn't zonked the hell out, I would have been able to stop the, you tripping. No, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> Just get out of here already. You've done enough. And what the hell was that request you mentioned earlier? You have started cleaning up the trash and CDKs is lying all over the floor. Hey, I don't clean up all the trash now. That's all mine. Even though I told her she didn't have to, she looked so apologetic, it almost made me feel guilty, like I'd done something wrong. You could, can't you do that while you're doing that? You're clearing my organized chaos. With the way she just instantly started cleaning up, and thoroughly at that, she reminded me somewhat of a mom. Or my mom, specifically. Not caring in the slightest about what may cause problems for other people. Rushing straight into doing whatever she pleased. You know, typical meddler. Oh my god. In that case, I should probably start helping her, shouldn't I? Nah, let's just sit here con continuing to do that. We'd both reach for a piece of trash at the same time. Our hands would touch, and we'd both say, oh, oh. And Then we'd stare into each other's eyes, just soaking in the glow of the moment. Right? Bro, she killed you in your delusion. You need to calm down. Wrong! The fuck you think this is? Some kind of rom-com? No. See, that joke would be funny. Uh, it's it, th That joke is funnier when it actually is a rom-com. <laughs> No way in hell I was helping her. Uh, Jesus Christ. It's literally your trash. While in the middle of piling up magazines, Yua suddenly stopped. Her back was turned, so I couldn't tell what she'd picked up. No. 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 Don't look at it. What was she getting nervous about? Something about it made me suspicious. Come to think of it, she was essentially ransacking my room at this point. What if she was trying to steal something? What? What? Maybe she was thinking that I had so many figures I wouldn't notice if one went missing. See, that's bad thinking if that was the case. I keep, we keep track of all the figures. Come on now. But little did she know, she was dead wrong. I'd perfectly memorize every single wife on that shelf. If even one went missing, I'd be able to tell in a nanosecond. <laughs> oh my God. Did she pick up one of my Edo gays? <laughs> She's looking at it. That was gonna be my second guess of what she was looking at. Well, my blood tuned doujins? Ah, shit. They're all unmentionable. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at that. Yua began tidying up again, nervous as ever. Shortly after, she quickly cleared a space to sit down and then turned toward me. Oh, finally. 
Finally! I gulped, then instinctively braced myself for impact. Oh my god. <laughs> he, like, didn't see that coming. I... Uh, uh, <laughs> He's speechless. He can't say anything. This was some dangerous territory. I couldn't afford to just blurt out an answer. On one hand, you and I had some shared interests. Hell, she was even a fan of Sarah. If er, she also seemed very interested in what I had to say, which meant she was someone I could get along with as an otaku. But on the other, it had to be some sort of trap. There was no way in hell something like this, something so perfect would actually happen to me in real life. It was an edo gay cliche, nothing more. I couldn't let 3D corrupt me. Think, Takumi, think. What the hell could Yua's true goal be? Really, all we know is she was stalking us because she was interested in us or whatever the fuck. <laughs> and, and that's really all we have to go off of. And how she was looking up specifically the new gen stuff in her, you know, the room 36. Ooh. You sat there with her head hung low. Pretty much every 3D girl ever was insanely full of themselves. And meanwhile, meanwhile this girl was remarkably timid. Did. And there was no way a 3D girl could be so pretty and have such a cute personality. Everyone knew that. Meaning, she had to be faking it. <laughs> Jesus. I'd turn her down. I'd gather all my strength, all the power invested in me as a man, and shoot her down. No, you won't. No, you damn well won't. Go on, get. As you looked up back up at me, I saw tears welling up behind her glasses. Wait, was she crying? Oh, was it because I couldn't, wasn't saying anything? Had I just made her cry? What a terrible human being. Oh no, <laughs> give me a break. What a life or death situation. I never experienced anything like this outside of video games. My heart was pounding out of my chest. I was even starting to feel guilty. No, don't say that. They say that women weaponize their tears, but only now was that st really starting to ring true to for me. Honestly, I had absolutely no clue how to deal with it. I was getting more and more nervous by the second. <laughs> you know what? I say we just fucking do it, alright? Like, we just... <laughs> Screw it. We're already like in knee deep in bullshit. What's the what what's the worst that could happen? We could go together, I tried to say, but ultimately I couldn't bring myself to. Because if I did, surely she'd say something like, Ew, this dumbass actually took it seriously? What a freak. You out of all the interactions you've had with her so far, you'd think that's what she would say. Call it a per persecution complex, but that's just how I felt. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, her eyes seemed even more wet than before. I saw a single tear dripping out of the corner of her eye. <laughs> Well, see, there you go. You did it, buddy. <laughs> now we die. <laughs> That's like a... He just made his choice. <laughs> that single tear was able to let him say it. I had no choice but to nod. I couldn't think of any other way to make her stop crying. Still, it felt like I was stepping right into a trap. Yua seemed incredibly relieved. 
She took a deep breath, took off her glasses, and wiped away her tears. <laughs> Neither did we, to be honest. Huh, she was thanking me. She See, she didn't say what you thought she was going to. Seemed like I'd be able to stop her from completely breaking down. Maybe I should be the one thanking her. Ah, shit. How'd I get myself into such a mess? Goddamn 3D women. You can never let your guard down around them. Uh, really, uh, hold up. Where the hell had her sad looking expression gone? Only a second had passed and she was already looking happy as a clam. She wiped her eyes. Give her a break. Those really were crocodile tears, weren't they? If so, she should win a fucking Academy Award. <laughs> <laughs> and this anime must be like ultra popular in this world. Like, I don't really know exactly how popular, but it seems pretty popular. <clears throat> well, according to my schedule, I needed to go to school tomorrow. That made it three times total this week. Then the week after, I'd only have to go twice. I had a feeling that tomorrow was going to suck even more than usual. Dude, no, we get an after school, we get a nice date with a lovely lady to buy a fucking anime figurine. But I'd already told you I'd go with her. If I tried to ch change my mind now, she'd start the waterworks all over again. Ugh, I really had no choice here, huh? Well, I you never really did. I was incredibly reluctant, but still, I agreed. Yua seemed happy to hear that. But she couldn't fool me with that face of hers. He is like He keeps saying you can't fool me as he continuously keeps getting quote quote fooled. And she's gonna pick us up too? Shit. I nodded quickly in response. Hoping that'd make her leave faster. Wait, I just made a promise to hang out? With a girl? Was this a dream? A delusion? We just had one, it's fine. I pinched my cheek to test that theory. Ow, it definitely hurt. Yeah. I'll just take some, like, ibuprofen or something. Oh. <laughs> Just... <laughs> okay, bye. I sat on the couch and watched Yua leave. She turned around and waved goodbye, then exited out of the front door. <laughs> what a weird set of events that have happened. <laughs> Man, the music's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was about to melt with bliss, so I quickly stiffened back up. <laughs> okay, okay, hold. Let's calm down a second here. <laughs> お前は僕の女にふさわしくない。セイラより良い女になって出直してこい。まあ、一生無理だけどな。何しろセイラは永遠の17歳だからな。みたいな。Oh <笑> There was no way any girl could ever be better than Saraton. True, though. I picked up the Sarah figure and rubbed her against my cheek. Ooh, and Saraton couldn't have looked happier. That's just her expression. Like, it's just always there. Oh, God.
It's like when he's by himself, he just like. That's when the true bullshit comes out. Stand! Bow! You know. There it is. <laughs> the math teacher. Wait, what was his name again? Ah, fuck it. The teacher left the classroom, and that was the end of classes for today. Some students started chatting about where they'd go after school. Those who uh, were in clubs gathered with their fellow members and headed for their club rooms. And the rest were just getting ready to go home ASAP. That's what we would be doing, but I was in the last camp. As soon as the bell rang, I was always the first to pack up and leave. But today I stayed glued to my seat, trying to avoid eye contact with any of my classmates. My anxiety was killing me. After all, my date with Yua was very soon. Uh, any, what the hell? Any normal non video obsessed person would have been losing their mind to have a date with a girl plan. What the shit? Is that, was that tips? What the shit is? Um, oh, it's, it's, it, oh, it's like when we say video games. I understand. <laughs> Let me look. <laughs> Yandere, a girl whose affection for her romantic interests goes so strong that she starts ex exhibiting strong emotions, such as jealousy and aggression, before eventually descending into outright insanity. Perfect. <laughs> but this was me we're talking about here, and I couldn't feel any more depressed. I couldn't relax at all. I was feeling physically sick. This would be the first time I'd ever gone on a date with a girl. So I had no clue what to do. You're going out to buy a figure. <laughs> Besides, would Yua even show up? Maybe she'd been fucking with me yesterday and she planned on standing me up. She was probably watching from the shadows right now, giggling at how gullible I was. Well, now that I thought about it, that honestly might be better than her actually showing up. Yeah, because then we'd have to go. Wait, did I really just have to sit around waiting? I mean, I could just blow her off and go home. You, you won't do that. <laughs> All right, it's settled. Time to head home. <laughs> we were in different grades anyway. So if I just canceled our date at the last minute, I'd have to see, uh, I'd never have to see her again for the rest of my life. I don't know, man. Fully determined to follow through with that plan. I stood up. Oh, God. Doc, what are you and am immediately accosted. <laughs> Out of nowhere, my back fell victim to a hard slap. I knew who was behind me without even looking. The only guy in class who ever talked to me. None other than Mishumi... Mi Mishumi... <laughs> Mishumi... Kun, Mishumi... 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 Are you not coming back? I'm going to be able to hear the chime. I'm going to be able to call it the Takumi's Onsok Chokki. Ha! I like that. I like how he calls it. No. I mean, how the hell did he know? I mean, he's. He, you're literally gone by now. So it's probably like, why are you still here? What's <laughs> <laughs> it's not very, you're not being very slick about it. He was good. Either way, I probably shouldn't say anything that'd make me stand out too much. Don't forget, Takumi. You're, you gotta be invisible at this school. You gotta blend in. Be like air. It's like a weird conscience. So? That's <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Misumi-kun wasn't a bad guy. But at times like these, he can really get fucking annoying. Take a hint, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Shivers ran down my spine. <laughs> I slowly turned my head toward the voice. Yuo was standing by the classroom door, looking apologetic. 
Oh, God damn it. <laughs> because of a Simicoon, I lost my chance to escape. Well. <laughs> Simicoon looked uh, unusually shocked. In fact, he was literally shaking. He put his arm around my shoulder and gave me a stern look. Hey, Taku. I can't. I even I don't know. Maybe. She should have just said yes. Gone with it. How many times have I told you, Miss Umi-kun? I'm not in a 3D. Well, that's another girl. Uh. <laughs> he put his hand on his chin, pondering for a moment, and then he finally let me go. Okay, it's not normal at all. Like, it, from looking at it from this, I guess you could say that, but... Okay, thank you. Mizumi-kun wasn't taking me seriously at all. He just got all excited over his own assumptions and slapped my back even harder than before. Ow. Ugh. At this point, he was just screwing with me. Thank you. I appreciate that. You don't... As long as you don't go after who I'm trying. <laughs> he can't even, like, argue. <laughs> it just has to say, oh, oh, I'm accepting this. Misumi-kun ordered me to, uh, to move, so I stumbled over to Yua despite my best efforts. I hadn't been able to escape. Uh, <laughs> just, yes. Yes, you fucking are. <laughs> I turned to look at Misumi Kun, but he just grinned and gave me the finger. He just gave me like the middle finger. I thought he'd give me like the thumbs up. This is bullshit. Honestly, I couldn't tell whether he was trying to pick a fight or cheer me on. I couldn't deal with this his, his shit any longer, so I decided to just hurry up and uh, leave with Yua. I always imagine Takumi is just always like. Uh, like I always imagine him oh, like I know what obviously what he looks like but I imagine he's always got this sheen of just like slime on him I don't know why I just think like that uh, yeah. like <laughs> it does uh. <laughs> The slime adds to me. I was so nervous. I was leaving school together with a 3D girl. Was I a normie now or what? Not quite. I would always felt like this was all a completely different world from mine. I never would have thought I'd get to experience something like this. But now, I was feeling the intense pressure of Yua's silence. We were just walking side by side, not even talking, so why was this so stressful? And to top it all off, I didn't really know who... Oh, God, that burp! I didn't know who Yua was or what her true goal was. Just what did she want from an, an otaku freak like me? <laughs> she started talking to me out of nowhere, and I got surprised, and that weird sound I'd made just came out. You also seemed really nervous. Her expression was so tense. She was older than me, so how was she still so innocent? How surprisingly moe. How surprisingly mo. Then again, I probably wasn't the best person to be talking about innocence, since I could 
hardly manage more than a quick sidelong glance at her. I was too embarrassed to take a proper look at her face. I just couldn't do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, mm. I watched that. I watched that. わたし、一箇所だけ、いまいちよくわからないところがあったんですけど。すすむくんがセイラちゃんのピンチに駆けつけてきて、助けてくれますよね。でも、どうしてすすむくんはセイラちゃんが危ないってわかったのかなって。It
パソコン持ってましたよねああ私も持ってるからメールアドレスを交換しませんかああど,どうして Why? えそのフィギュアの発売日に取りに行かなくちゃいけませんよねああ、then you have on us to go. I understand. その時にまた一緒にああ、まだ一人でアニメエイトに行く勇気はないから。Man, if this is all an elaborate trap to kill us one day, I would fall for it. <laughs> like Jesus Christ. She was good. <laughs> それに She was way too good. I knew she had claw her claws in me, but I just couldn't turn her down. If I did, I'd look like the bad guy. Oh, 3D was the scariest fucking thing in the world. Then. Why? I'm gross. How was, she do how was she doing this? Was it because I was bad at talking to people? Or was she just too good? Either way, U.S. seemed intent on not leaving until she had my email. Yet at the same time, I could sense a bit of unease behind those glasses of hers. I could practically feel my will to resist draining from my body. There were goosebumps all over my body, shivers running down my spine, but I couldn't run away. And I couldn't turn her down. There was definitely something up with Yua. No, I'm sure there isn't at all. This aura she had, it wasn't normal. I couldn't really put it into words exactly what it bothered, uh, what, what it was that bothered me so much, but whatever it was, something wasn't right. No, it's fine. I assure you, nothing is wrong. Before I knew it, I'd torn out a scrap of notepaper, written down my email address, and handed it to her.、Uh, she took it, looking happy as can be, then quickly bowed her head and disappeared into the station. Next, we'll find out she plays ESO, and it's all over from there. It felt like my soul had left my body. I just stood there, completely dumbfounded. Even after ten minutes had passed, I couldn't move an inch. We should probably should, though, not go down a dark alley where we'll see the, the girl killing someone else, I guess. Ah,、oh, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> It's time. <clears throat> so, what do you make of all this? Of her? Because personally, I don't have the slightest clue. There is no way she doesn't have ulterior motives or something. Again, how all of this, how we ended up spending time with her and everything, like the, the, the lead up, like it just, it don't add up. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense otherwise. Hey, are you listening, Grim? <laughs> What arrow gay is this? <laughs> That night I decided to consult Grim about Yua. Where's Shogun? Get him in here. <laughs> I'll ask him the questions. Or her. I don't know. Figured I might as well. If I just kept my paranoia to myself, I wouldn't get anywhere. And that was the response I'd gotten. Not like I could blame him. The first time I'd spoken with you,、uh, I reacted the same exact way. <laughs> It's true. We did say the same thing. What?、Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, hold up. It uh, uh, sh was, stu was stupid of me to think you'd be any help, Grim. Now, wait one fucking second. You were being serious? You really managed to raise a flag with someone? You really have a way of getting whatever you want, huh? Lol. Now, who said they weren't into 3D again? LMFAO? Bro, she's lovely. What do you want from me? It's not like that, dude. Grimm's reaction was almost identical to Misumi Kun's. Were they actually the same person or something? That would be funny. <laughs> well, for a turbo virgin like you, Nightheart, <laughs> now that you have a girl, it should be easy to leave Otakudam、uh, behind and lose your V card. 
No, I need that. It's precious to me. Uh, you gotta be careful though. Like if you're if you start talking to her about how much you're into them swimsuits, she'll dump your ass. So use common sense. <laughs> What's wrong? What? Well, hold up. What's wrong? <laughs> I don't want to look at the mail. Uh, what's wrong with the school, school swimsuit fetish emoji? This guy's hopeless. I better do something quick. Oh, no. I don't know where I heard Saraton's voice. That was my custom email notification sound. I knew it was. I casually went to check my email, and the sender's name was... Oh, hey, oh, 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 he's in. I got it. I got an email from the woman just now. Whoop! There it is. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever gotten an email from a 3D girl. I gulped and, and clicked to open it. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, let me take a look. See here. Uh, good evening, this is Chris Sanoki. I sent this email as soon as I was able. I would appreciate it if you added me to your address book. My apologies for making you accompany me today. <laughs> the bowing emoji. Sorry. Even so, I had a lot of fun. Perhaps because it was my first time going to a store like that. Or maybe it was because uh, Nishi jo jo -kun was with me. Lol. What time will you be coming to school tomorrow, Nishi jo -kun? Oh, I'm only asking because I was hoping to be able to say hello tomorrow morning, that's all. It would be nice if we run into each other again tomorrow. Uh, yeah, here we go. Well, I'll be sure to send you an email again soon. Good night. See, look at this. This is fine. You as usual elegance and purity shown through the email, and by using a lot of emoticons, she gave it a bit of a friendly tone, too. But when she said things like maybe it was because Nishi Jokun was with me or I, I, I was hoping I'd be able to say hello tomorrow morning, I just couldn't help but feel like she was up to something. What are you talking about? <laughs> Post it now. <laughs> it's tame. Chill the fuck out. Just usual greetings and shit. Whatever, bro. Just post it. That's mine. That's for my eyes only. Why'd it go black? Why'd the screen go black? Where am I? Okay. Oh my. Whoa. Oh, oh you're literally going through the whole thing. He's copying and pasting. <laughs> he's he here because he's doing. There's two taps. He's doing the the C and the V. That's how it is. Grim wouldn't stop pestering me, so I just gave up and posted the entire email. Though I did censor my and you as personal information, at least. Oh ho ho, would you look at that lovey-dovey email. Kill yourself, night, <laughs> aren't you normally, normie scum? Please take this seriously. <laughs> this must be some kind of a trap. Yeah, yeah, how tight that tinfoil hat you got on. She sure you're not overthinking it? Looks like, just looks like you raised a flag with this chick to me. You're almost at the good end already. Perfect. <laughs> That's what I mean. There's no way this is real. You think this could happen to an otaku freak like me? There's no way. You think a cute girl would try to pick me up, IRL? Dude, lol, are you seriously complimenting your GF already? Ha 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 ha. I mean, that's just what it is. She's just, she's cute. What do you want? Could you quit trolling for one second? Come on, dude. I already told you. You're overthinking it. We're two of a kind, aren't we, Nightheart? We both know gr good girls like that don't exist no more. Yes, I was fully aware, but she really was just that nice. And that's exactly what didn't feel right to me. Mm, that's kind of hot, don't you think? It, well, it means she really likes you. And you, you said she likes anime too? Yeah, no way such a perfect GF exists, bro. Not for us otaku anyway, Lamau. Just don't go ruining her with your degenerate shit. 
Well, that might not be so bad. No, scratch that. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> well, see? Uh, okay, yeah, to type some. I'm not into 3D. You say that, but we both know you really want to go out with her. <laughs> Am I right? If you want to deotakuify yourself, now's your chance. You won't get a second one, and you know it. <laughs> Do we want to deotakuify? Congrats, you're popular now. Uh, now won't last long, so don't let it go to waste. Just keep calm and go on the attack. Just be Nightheart IRL. You can do it. You got the green light, bro. If I could just do it, I wouldn't be going through so so much turmoil. Like I'd realized when I was talking with you the other day. Sure, there were a couple moments where I had fun or felt happy but aside from that i just felt annoyed and completely exhausted that's just dealing with people in general that's just like a thing when you're when you're a shut-in well he's he oh, i'm not a shut-in i just i uh, you know but whatever when you're a shut-in and you deal with people you become more annoyed and exhausted because your social battery is so fucking low it just is what it is. And that was, uh, if that was what I had to go through with every IRL interaction, then I'd honestly rather live in the 2D world where I can do whatever I wanted. And that was why I decided not to reply to you as email. Oh my god. Really? He just, oh, oh no. <laughs> what? He didn't even reply to, just fucking give her something like oh my god this man is a disaster but it's fine it that's how he is and we just gotta we gotta deal with him i mean we've already been dealing with him so there it is